Hello everyone this is Ultimate Public Entertainment. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another interesting episode of Karen Shenanigans. Take a look. You hit my car and I need some insurance now. Shut up. Remember this business owner in Virginia by the name Chuck, who was under fire for racism after hitting an Asian woman's car? Well, I have an update on his case. For those of you who do not remember, take a look at the clip one more time. No, you hit my car. I know I did. You're not like Speak English, okay? What? You hit my car and I need some insurance now. I don't have my insurance card. You don't have insurance card? Progressive. But I need the card and, and the... I don't car. have it. I need a driver license. You hit like behind my car. Shut up. Oh my God. I've got to go get my daughter. Doesn't matter. You hit my car. Big deal. You hear me? Next, you're going to be watching the most current update that the female driver posted online about what happened after the officers arrived at the scene of the accident. Check this out. update on this case is that Mr. Chuck's business is temporarily closed as a result of this incident that happened. A lot of people went on social media, left bad review on his business website. As a result of this, he had to close his business temporarily. Wow. Okay. And I hope you lose your job and I hope he loses his job because this is ridiculous. This woman goes for a car wash in Boardman, Ohio, but she was refused service because she seems to be inebriated. When the guy who was supposed to be washing her car told her this, that is, he wasn't going to wash her car, this woman did this. Check this out. Be in your car and you're drunk. Go I'm home, lady. Drunk. Please go home. I'm not I washing your car. You sound drunk. And okay. I hope you lose your job. And I hope he loses his job because this is ridiculous. Okay. Ridiculous. Okay, look, can you please go? I have an account and I've been here for two years. We don't Probably care. even more. Years. You calling me a I not gonna, wanted not to gonna, get this car. Piece of you're a piece of Wash my f car. Oh, you're gonna re you're gonna record that part. You got a baby gonna in your car. I'm gonna else. call the police on you. You have a Why? baby and you're drunk. Dude, Come on, lady, I lady. Just my car you look wash. stupid. I pay you. I'm not to wash my I'm car. Washing your car. You sound stupid. You're a f idiot. It's okay. You're gonna go on Facebook, Whatever. TikTok, and all that. What? Yeah. And I got you. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, hey, TikTok. <laughs> You know, I'm a loner and I'm trying to be responsible and wash the f 
You You sound drunk with a baby in your car. You are disgusting. You're a disgusting female. If you hit your face. I have an honest question that I need an answer for regarding this incident. Let's just say you were the guy recording this woman. Mind you, you're a person of color in Ohio. What would you have done? Would you have called the police? Let me know in the comments section. I'm going to ask you right now. Do you want to give me a refund or do you want to go to small claims court? I have to talk to my boss. I got to rewatch the camera. I have to do what I have to do. I have to call my boss. You won't believe this. A customer at Burger King threatened to sue the fast food restaurant because he was unable to get a refund. Check this out. I was here around 6, 30, 7 o'clock last night. I didn't tell you exactly what I ordered, but it came out to 1966. Pull around, not a problem. Got a 20 out, got the window, mm -hmm. and they told me it was 2148. Um, and I said, well, that's weird. I'll definitely need a receipt with that. Okay. They refused to give me a receipt. I go home, and the order's messed up. We come in here all the time, which won't happen again. I'm here for my $22. Okay, do you have your food still? Do you have your receipt? They kept my food, and I don't have a receipt because they refused to give I cannot give no money unless I have a receipt. And all right. They all, all right, I'll see you in small what, claims court. What time? I will spend my $35 to get my $22. I have other things to do than worry about Burger King. Like seriously? You have other things to do like going to small claims court for a few dollars? Wow. Well, my money back. I can help you earlier, but I don't. I mean, my other boss was here. Could you do that while you're at work? What? When I'm a break? I don't get a break. I understand. So. That's what I'm it, it, see, no matter what happens here, it's always my fault. So no, I just need a receipt. That's what I don't have a receipt. They refuse to give me a receipt. No, so, I gave you the receipt. You left without the receipt. The fool. I sent the receipt right here. You left out without the fool. Listen, you left without right? the fool and the receipt and your feet. The biggest thing is, is there was a discrepancy in the bill from what I was, and they After refused to give me a receipt. So what's my so, next thing that I'm thinking? So be the so we should have. And they wanted to remake my food. Well, one That's of them what they're sitting supposed here. To if I'm not here. You need to watch the camera. She's sitting there eating uh, Taco Bell. I can do what I want to do. Right here. Well, that's fine, but don't be handling the food at the same time. I, 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 so, it's up to your discrepancy. I'm going to ask you right now. Do you want to give me a refund or do you want to go to small claims court? I have to talk to my boss. I got to rewatch the camera. I have to do what I have to do. I have to call my boss. Okay. I understand that. I ran businesses for a long time. And I guarantee you'll be able to go back. If I have the receipt, it'll be way see. easier because I got my ID. You tell me. I've asked for my receipt while I was in here. And like I gave 12 you. 12 times. You left without me. You left without me when I gave you. He says he and wants an apology. Don't worry he's recording. He's not allowed recording so taking a court for recording premises. So I'm taking him to court for recording on my premises. Because it's illegal because you're a private cop. Go ahead. Have a good day, sir. Yep. See you in small claims court. This is just an advice. For anyone that might find themselves in such a situation, always check your order before you leave a restaurant and remember to ask for a receipt. Go to Goodbye. the cemetery. Go Goodbye. to the cemetery. Go Goodbye. put flowers at the cemetery. Goodbye. Go down to the hospital. Goodbye. I don't care. So the story behind this shenanigans is, I mean, this is sad. So this guy, who is claiming ownership of the street, goes to crash sites, picks up flowers and cross that are placed on family and friends memorial. Unbelievable. Take a look at this. It's not. I don't care. Put it down. Because guess what? Now we got your face, we'll call the cops and they'll come find you for stealing for stealing what you the band it was abandoned garbage no they know it's, it's here garbage. the cops know it's here it's abandoned no garbage. it's not it's abandoned what the f 
it bothering you, huh? It's abandoned. What's it garbage. bothering you? I don't want this pile of shit every time it's we not come in our neighborhood. It's not shit. Yes, it is. It's not okay. So this is a problem. What about the one down the street? I don't huh? live down it there. It doesn't matter. I don't live down there. Put it down. I don't want your Put garbage pile. Put it down. It's not your to take. Put it down. Thank you. I don't want your garbage pile. It's not your garbage pile. Goodbye. Go to your go Goodbye. to the cemetery. Go Goodbye. to the cemetery. Go Goodbye. put flowers at the cemetery. Goodbye. Go down to the hospital. Goodbye. I don't care. This isn't for you. Goodbye. It's Goodbye. not your property. And it's not yours either. It's, it's not yours state. either. You call the police district. They're fine with it. If you got an issue, call them. I will. All right, go, go ahead. ahead. Call them. Go ahead. And we'll because they know. For the, for the SWAT to pull, or for the, SWAT. For the unit to pull up. SWAT. We'll wait for the unit to pull up. Stop, Kyle. You can't pull up. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. That's a pile of garbage. Yes, I can. It's not a pile of garbage. It's for our friend. It's a pile of garbage. It's not. It's Goodbye. So if we were doing it on your property, you got to say, but you don't. You don't. The state does. So if you got a problem with it, call the 8th district and ask for Chris. Because that's who I spoke to this morning. All right, I will. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wow, some people have way too much time on their hands. This is so sad. So recently, while I was on social media, browsing and searching for Karen videos or interesting clips, I came across this story about this young lady who got pregnant by her husband's brother. This is crazy check this out you guys i am into some now i am into some deep so i'm not even gonna do no parts i'm gonna just tell y'all the whole mother story all right cool so i'm married now you guys i've been married for eight years i have three kids with my husband my husband is now overseas he's been over there for about two years when he do come home he probably come home three times out of the year he stay home for two maybe two to three weeks at a time all right cool I've been lonely. I've been lonely. I've been lonely. So I end up cheating on my husband. Yes, I cheated on him. He don't know that I cheated on him. After this video, he gonna know. And I'm in some deep ass But it gets worse than that. It gets worse than the cheating. All right. So I end up going to the bar one night and end up having a one night stand with this guy. And it was amazing. So that one night stand turned into a almost an every night stand. Um, but it was just like a relationship i didn't even really like care to even really get to know the man it's just I, I'm, I'm married so it was just whatever you know my husband couldn't do for me at the time i was messing with this guy this young fella and he fine too but yeah i'm messing with this fella all right cool so um we've been messing around for maybe two years now or whatever and i'm just now we used to when we when we met up we just get a room but now it's like, okay, I could come to your house. You can't come to my house because my kids is at the house. But now I'm going to his house. All right, cool. So long story short, today I found out a pregnant. I am pregnant. My husband is overseas. So there's no way it could be my husband, baby. It got to be this man, baby. I haven't even told him yet. All right, so yesterday I go to his house and I see this wall and it got the pictures, like the picture collage and stuff, and I'm just now paying attention to it. So I'm looking at the pictures and I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, he doesn't have any kids, but I'm just looking at the pictures and just looking. And then I see a picture of my husband on the mother wall. So I'm just like... The whole time I'm over there, I'm just sitting there, like, trying to think, like, how am I going to ask him, how do you know that guy that's on your wall? So, I'm just, I, 
I done bit off all my nails, you guys. Like, I got one more thumb left. I got the thumb left because I'm over there nervous. I'm just biting my nails, biting my nails. Just trying to figure out how am I going to ask him, how do you know this particular man in this goddamn picture? And I'm like, if you know him, then you know he got a wife. So I'm like, was this a setup? Like, because I, I, I just don't know. So I just, like, after probably, after I ate off all my fingernails, and we don't watch movie everything like i i didn't i finally asked so i go back over to the wall so now i'm just like, all right cool you just gotta start asking questions like well who is this lady who is this person who is this so i'm like who this he like that's my mama who this your daddy all right cool and then this right here i ain't saying like that but you get down to the right here how do you know him who's that he said that's my brother and i'm like We've been married for eight years. I ain't never know him to have a, a a brother. So I'm like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, on on your daddy's side. So he's like, yeah, on my dad's side. All right, now cool. That's some clarity right there because my husband daddy died way before that me even me and him even met. Um, he said he had some siblings on his daddy's side, but he don't really know like like I got some siblings on my daddy's side. Like I got a whole bunch of I think seven of them. I don't really know them like that. Like I know them, but I don't even know them like that. So it you know it could yeah yeah. So my husband ain't really like talk about him like that. You know they cool or whatever, but they he ain't never like you know he wasn't never at none of the family functions and nothing like that. That's his daddy's side. You know, some of y'all might not know, but some of y'all that have half siblings, y'all be y'all know. I know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. So, he like, that's my brother on my daddy's side and all this stuff. So, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So, he's telling me, like, you know, they actually really close. But I ain't never see this. But I'm just like, okay, you know, is he married? He like, yeah, he married. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So, I'm like, so, do you know his wife? He like, nah, I ain't never met her. She live overseas with, with him. So I'm like, no, I'm not in my head. I'm just like, oh yeah. He like, yeah, they um, they got two kids in Germany, and I'm just like, I got three in my head. So I'm just like, oh yeah. He like, yeah. I talk to him, you know, very frequently. I'm just like, oh, okay. Where he like, yeah. So I'm like. Maybe that ain't him. Maybe it ain't. I'm like, maybe it ain't him. Because I got three kids and I live in the United States of America. So I'm just like, okay. So then on the collage, he starts showing me pictures of the pictures I did not see yet. But he showed me pictures of my husband with his wife. Now, mind you, I'm the wife. So he showed me pictures of my husband with another woman. So I'm just like, and, and their kids. So I'm like, yo, this sh is crazy. So, but the crazy thing is, he got two boys by this other lady. Well, I, from what I'm seeing, he got pictures of the kids up here. These two boys look identical to my kids. Like, they look the same. And I'm looking like, yo. Then he's showing me, now mind you, I have three by my husband. I got two boys and a girl. So they got two boys. So I'm looking at the the rest of the pictures. I see a picture of my two sons, like my my kids. And I'm like, the f So I'm just like, I'm just playing it dumb. Like, oh yeah, because I, I, I'm in a situation right now. And this is his brother. And I'm just, I don't know what to do. So, all right, long story short, I never even told him, uh, this is, that was yesterday, I never even told him nothing about the man and my husband and nothing, his brother, but I miss some y'all, what do I do? Like, I'm pregnant by my husband's brother. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> now this is wild but then the young lady wants to know what should she do if you have an idea what you think she should do
please do indicate in the comment section. And also, look out for the next video I'm going to be uploading next. I will be having an update on exactly what she decided to do. There's a parking lot. I ain't did nothing no. wrong. Yes, she did something wrong. What I do? You were extremely rude. You made me wait. It says condo parking only. You've taken two spots. And there's plenty of parking over there. Karen refused to allow the Amazon worker whose truck she's sitting on to do her job and at the same time to leave the location because the driver was apparently parked on two parking spots. Take a look at this shenanigans. More information than that. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to deal with that word. <laughs> but you're able to talk on the phone while you're at work. That's so interesting. Yeah, because you was recording me. So I'm recording you now. You can report me. What, what are you reporting? I said I'm recording. Right. So I'm trying to get information and you are not providing it. Would you I thought like you go through the Amazon app. Nope. I need to know your name or ID number. I need to know your supervisor. My name, name is Sharon Smith. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and put that down. Sharon Smith. Right. I can't give you the other information because I don't know the other information. No, don't you ever give a Karen any type of information, especially the information that has nothing to do with them. Uh, I doubt that. But you can go through the Amazon app, to file, uh, file a complaint, and no, okay. it'll be like that. Okay. That's it. That's not going to work. You, okay. don't, you don't recognize who you're speaking with, do you? No, I really sure don't, don't. I really don't care. I know you don't. A few moments later. Do you know that it says resident parking only? It's, I'm speaking to you. Have a nice day. You know I've got all your information. In That's fine. There's a parking lot. I ain't did nothing no. wrong. Yes, you did something wrong. What I do? You were extremely rude. You made me wait. It says condo parking only. You've taken two spots. And there's plenty of parking over there. Can you imagine? Karen claims she's so busy that she cannot wait. But then she proceeds to wait there to hang out with a driver and continue to disrupt her from doing her job. Unbelievable. Up next, we've got a weird entitled and privileged Karen with a Stanley Cup behaving badly at a store. Take a look at this. ...works and you're denying me that um, and making faces and I told at you me. You can go to the back. I said, we're in the back because it makes a difference. Back There's there. trailers all the over trailer. back there. Okay. So keep so, going. So keep going. Yeah. Yeah. You haul yeah, corporate. Haul. Yes, get please. This. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell them how you was demanding. Telling me to Oh, stop. demanding that I want to know that my trailer hitch works. Very. Really? When I was dealing with a customer. No, you aren't. Nobody's yes, I, in here but I us. was dealing with two people. No, they can record the cameras. No, ma'am. You're okay. wrong. Okay. Yeah. And you're right. I am right. Thank you. Now, go back there and get my. And don't. Like, seriously, Karen. How about asking the employee nicely to get you what you need? You really do need to get a life for real. Finally, on this episode of Karen Shenanigans and Ultimate Public Entertainment. So this Karen assaults another customer at a grocery store, but then she claims the victim. Check this out. No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I will, don't touch me. You. I will you. you started it. She touched me. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. Relax. Call the cops. And she's just filming me. Stop. Call the cops. That's up to you. Yes, I'm going to call the cops. That's up to you. Call the cops, Elijah, on your phone. So if you watch this video to the end, 
please do not forget to indicate in the comment section. Go home, Karen, and calm your nerves. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all.